Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All right, we've had many requests to discuss prime and composite numbers. Let's look at a few important definitions first. You can get on with your mouth now. Yeah. Okay. First, a prime number has only two factors, one and itself. A composite number has more than two factors, and one is neither prime nor composite. And in a minute, we'll um, go over and do some examples. And if you want, you can look at yesterday's lesson where we talked about factors. That's on there. Boom shakalaka. That'll be easy. But I'm going to tell you how to find prime numbers here first. First, one is neither prime nor composite. So I'm not even worrying about one. Okay, and we're going to go through the hundreds chart. I'm going to tell you how to find every prime number less than 100. You with me? All right. And sometimes when I'm really trying to think of something, I just recite the prime numbers under 100, and then I'll pop into my mind. All right, so 2 is the first even, or the first prime number. It is also the only even prime number. Why, you ask? Because 2 is a factor of every other even number. What does that mean, you ask? Let me show you. Let's look at... All right, let's look at the number four. If we look at the number of four, the factors of four are one and four, two and two, okay? Which means it has more than two factors. Two is a factor of every other even number. Does that make sense? You can use two 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. So every even number has 2 as a factor. Kind of make sense? So if we want to cross off everything that has 2 as a factor. So really, if we just cross off all of our even numbers, which we can do it fairly easily if we just go in our columns, and cross off everything that has a uh, 2, 3, I mean, sorry, a 0, a 2, a 4, a 6, or an 8 in, their, in the ones place. Now, so anything I've crossed off is going to be a composite number. Everything being crossed off is a composite number. Because they all have 2 as a factor, like... 48, you can do 2 times 24. Yes. Yes. And then my 10, 20, because they all end in 0. 2 times 50 would be 20, or 2 times 25 would be 50. They all have a factor of 2. Okay? 2 is a prime number. The only factors of 2... The only way you can get 2 is 1 times 2. There's no other way to get 2 using only positive whole numbers. Yes, ma'am. If you'd like, yes. We're going to wait while she's getting a piece of paper. Um, I'll sing a little bit. To the extreme, I'll rock a mic like a vandal. Light the stage, watch a chump like a candle. Dance. Are you good? Okay, good. <laughs> now we go to our next number on our hundreds chart, which is 3. 3 is a prime number, because the only, only two factors of 3 are 1 times 3, 1 in itself, which using our definition makes it a prime number. Now, everything that is a multiple of 3. So, if you think of a multiplication chart, we cross off everything after 3 that is a multiple of 3. So if we count by 3's, 1, 2, 3. 3 will go into 6 evenly. 1, 2, 3. Oh, 9 is a multiple of 3 because 9 has 1 times 9 and 3 times 3 as factors. Uh, 
can I tell 11, 12? Larry crossed off. 13, 14, 15. Because 15 is 1 times 15, 3 times 5. So it has composite numbers. So we're crossing off every composite number. Let's just put that right there. Composite numbers have an X on them. Uh, prime numbers are circled. So we just put that little uh, piece of information right there for us. All right, and so if I'm looking at my multiplication chart, uh, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51. 51 is a tricky one. 51 is the one, if I want to trick you, you'll think that um, it's prime, but it's not. Because 3 goes into 51 17 times. 54 or 57. 57 is another tricky one that I like to give. 63, 66, 69, 72, 75, 78, 81, 84, 87, 89, 92, 90, not 92, 94. Four is three. No, not ninety-four. What are we? Doing? Oh, ninety-three. My bad. Ninety-three, ninety-six, and ninety-nine. Okay. So all those that I just crossed off has have three as a factor, which means they have more than two factors, because you have one and yourself, and then anything else that you can multiply together to equal that this number, then that makes it a factor. You good? And later on, we'll talk about some divisibility rules that will make this easy peasy raw chicken bubble gum for you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because you are the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. All right, so now our next, our next prime number is five. Why is it prime? Because you can only do 1 times 5 is the only two factors of 5. You, there are no other whole numbers that you can multiply together to equal 5. But the multiples of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, they all have 5 as a factor. So 10's already crossed off, 15's already crossed off. All my 1's that end in 0 have a 0 in the 1's place are crossed off. 25 is not crossed off. Factors of 25 are 1 and 25, 5 and 5. So that means it has three factors. 1, 5, 25. Okay? 35, 55, 65, 85, 95. And what I would suggest you do, and I can print you a hundreds chart if you need one, but what I suggest you do is watch the video again, taking the hundreds chart, Listening to the video, pausing, crossing out like like I'm like you're doing now. Okay? Seven is our next prime number. It's prime because the only factors of seven are one times seven. But every multiple of seven, if you have a multiplication chart, it goes seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-five. 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, Hi. 77, what up, Mr. W? 77, 84, uh, plus 7, 92, plus 7, 99, already crossed off. We're doing prime and composite numbers. Oh, I thought you were playing football. Hut, hut, hut. Blue 52, blue 43. <laughs> And you know what the Cowboys Cowboys guy always does? He up there and then they look at the look at the blitz and they go kill 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 kill. And I don't think they mean actually kill somebody. No, They're just killing the play. Gets riled up though. Yeah, yeah. All right, our next what? Yes. Our next prime number is eleven. Now I make sure all my multiples of eleven are crossed off. And if you look, it's nice, perfect diagonal. And they're already crossed off. Yes. Next prime number is 13. And I need every 13th number crossed off. The only two factors of 13 are 1 times 13. But 
If I go 10, 11, 12, 13, 26 has 1 times 26 and uh, 2 times 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. 39 is 3 times 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. So 91 needs to be crossed off. Because 13 times 7, I think. 7, yeah, 91. So 91 needs to be crossed off. That's another tricky one. That's another tricky one. Uh, next is 17. 17 is a prime number. The only way you can get 17 are 1 times 17. No other whole numbers are factors of 17. And let's go 10, 20, 19, 18, 17. 10, 20, 19, 18, 17. 10, 20, 19, 18, 17. 10, 20, 19, 18, 17. So they're already crossed off. All the multiples of 17. 19, and I know we're just about have all the non-primes crossed off, but I'm going to show you how to do it here. 19. All I'm going to do is add 20 and subtract 1. So 10, 20, 38. 38 is a multiple of 19. 10, 20, 57 is a multiple of 19. 10, 20, 76 is a multiple of 19. 10, 20, 95 is a multiple of 19. Uh, 23 is prime. And we can do the same thing. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. Okay? Um, 29 is prime. 31 is prime. 37 is prime. 41 is prime. 43 is prime. 47 is prime. Uh, 53 is prime. 59 is prime, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97. So all these circled numbers are the prime numbers, which means, for example, 53. The only way you can get to 53 the only two factors 53 has is 1 times 53. So now when you get on Think Through Math and it asks you about prime and composite and you're completely stuck, come back and watch this video. It would mean the world to me. It would. It would. It would. Benjamin! Oh, sorry, it's still recording. Yeah, but that's okay. Well, yeah, you can say his name. They don't know which Benjamin it is. Benjamin. Where's that sheet? 121-122. Come on, Benjamin. 121-122. Don't make Mr. W mad. He turns into the Incredible Hulk. Oh, smash. And you know what? As teachers, we're not going to take it. No. No, we ain't going to take it. Boom shakalaka. Boom. Peace out. Love y'all. Have a blessed day.